What's up, YouTube? This is Sully again, coming uh, coming back at you with a, another observation, <laughs> a review. Uh, as you can tell from the box, a foam posit here. This is the the eggplant foam posit that came out this weekend. Um, I always go up half a size in my foam posits because I have some wide ass feet. So take a quick look at these. I know there's a thousand videos online about these already, but this is the first time I've gotten these like these this version. Um, I've only I've only had two. I only have two other pair. I have those uh, those Wu Tang, and then I got the um, the metallic blues. I missed out on those reds, man. I wanted those those metallic reds so bad. Uh, I could taste it. But I just wasn't gonna spend above retail. But I gotta say, these shoes are fire. Like I have a client meeting in a few weeks, and I am gonna wear this, wear these with some some dark jeans, a black dress shirt, black jacket. And I'm going to be rocking these in the Atlanta airport hard. Um, from everything I've heard of, they're still available. They're still online. I think you still get them at Nike. They didn't sell out well. Um, that doesn't, I really don't care about that. I liked uh, the fact that I could walk into the mall and pick these up in person. I was super excited about that. No bullshit. Um, they sound like, seemed like they had plenty. Um, but uh, yeah, classic retro. Um, something I've admired in the past that I just never, you know, just something about, something about foam posits that's strange because I just, I just always thought that they were an ugly shoe. And when I got those, the, the Wu-Tang, I got those because I'm a big Boston Bruins fan. It's, my, it's where I originally grew up. And yellow and black is just a hard, you know, wearing Bruins t-shirts and jerseys, it's a hard thing to match with. You end up having to just wear jeans and black shoes. <coughs> and I got the... The Thunder Fours when when those rolled out, and then I picked those fo those those Wu Tang foam posits up because I thought they were dope. And then I wore them and actually shot around and played some ball in them, and realized how comfortable they are. And you know I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a point guard or anything, so I don't need anything that's super light like Kobe's. I do like to play in Kobe's, but I like playing in these foam posits. <coughs> Excuse me. So pick these up. Foam posit material, whatever that material actually is. Um, let's say you got some some new buck in there as well, new buck, new dura buck, uh, same type of laces, um, very cool profile. I love the purple and black, and I actually like that metallic y metallic -y look. This really reminds me of the All Star Sixes on how that finish kind of came out. I still have yet to wear these because I don't know what the what the hell to wear these with, but very kind of I guess kind of similar, maybe not. Here you tell me. Yeah, so maybe not as flashy. Uh, I still think this is a dope shoe. I just need to figure out the hell to wear with these. Um, but in terms of the, the foam posit, super cool. I haven't tried them on yet. These are complete dead stock. I'll probably end up rolling these out this, this coming up weekend. I don't really have a philosophy in terms of when to wear them, when not to wear them. Um, carbon fiber there. Translucent bottoms. Oops. Translucent bottoms. Uh, I think these will actually complement... I think some of the some of the reviews I've seen with the old version versus the new version actually look pretty cool. I actually like on foam posits when they kind of the way it looks when they kind of uh, dull up a little bit in terms of color. It's un, not like a not like the way those platinum fives are going to look when they yellow, or the way those lasers are going to look when they yellow. I think foam posits like these guys uh, this shoe gets away with it, but definitely clean shoe. I picked it up. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Did you pick it up? I did pick this up at the two thirty price point. But I was able to use a platinum reward at Foot Locker, so I thought that was interesting that I could actually knock fifteen dollars off of this and get this a little under retail, which allowed me to pick up some more crep cleaner, uh, which I was running low on anyways. So let me know what you guys think. Did you guys pick up a pair? Did you pass on these? Um, you know, any split, anything that you're waiting for that you're coming out? I think I mentioned I'm gonna pass on those metallic fives. And I'm really not sure what I'm waiting for next. Um, I don't think I like anything else that's coming out. I did see that those Meridian 11 Lows were sold out everywhere, which I was surprised because I thought those were a little hideous. And I'm still regretting buying the the, refer the referees 11 Lows, those um, whatever those are called, the PE 11 Lows. Um, I'm still disappointed in those because those just they they feel like 11s, but they don't. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. I hope everyone's doing well. I hope you're buying what you want to buy. I hope you, you know, your your sneakers. You're still doing your thing. I see a lot of the other YouTube shot, uh, YouTube uh, reviewers or whatever they're called. 
uh, are getting out of the game or they're selling their collections. So, I mean, as you guys can see, I am I love sneakers. I love the ones that I like. And I really don't, you know, you're not going to see any Yeezys or, or anything like that. I mean, I'm just, uh, like I said, told you guys I'm an old dude. So, I kind of stick to what I like. I even got the Chucks. Even got the Chucks. So... You guys take it easy. I hope you're doing well. Thank you guys for watching. If you watched it all the way through, and uh, you know, give me a thumbs up if you if you thought this was good. All right. You guys take it easy. I'm out.